Hi, I'm Craig Fritz from the Sanctuary in Syracuse with a question for you today. What's blocking your view? You can hear in the distance, the train is going by. It's just on the other side of that field behind me where the corn is growing. But you can't see the train for the corn. We enjoy looking across the yard and looking across the field and watching the trains go by. On these tracks behind me, about 90 trains go by a day. But when they have corn in the field, the corn grows up high enough that we can't see the train. So what's blocking your view? Because Jesus wants us to see him clearly. He wants us to be able to experience him and see all of his beauty, all of his majesty. But every once in a while, something gets between us and the Lord and it blocks our view. Paul says in Hebrews chapter 12, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Paul said, you've got to make sure that you lay aside everything that would block your view of Jesus. Whatever the weight might be, whatever the sin might be, whatever the obstacle, the temptation, lay it aside and look full into Jesus' face. Because the Lord said to come unto me. He invites us to come before his throne. He wants us to see him. But every once in a while an obstacle gets there. It'll be a few more days, hopefully, and the corn's going to be gone. They'll harvest it from the field, and we'll be able to see the train again. But more importantly than seeing the train, I need to see Jesus for myself. So make sure there's nothing blocking your view of the Lord. Because God wants you to have a close relationship with Him. So don't let anything stop you. No one, no, no occupation, Nothing stop you, no desire of your own heart, no excuse that you might have. Don't let anything block your view of Jesus. Because my friend, that's what's really important in life, that we see him clearly. Have a blessed day, share these with others, and join us tomorrow for the next Daily Devotional.